shook my organs around. I burst my eardrum. Everybody was super nervous, so that's why we did it only once. The water spray damaged the drone. We're trying to guess where it should be, about 15 meters deep. We found out about this spot from local guys who used to cliff dive here all the time. The way here is through thick bushes and thorns. Welcome to the jungle. It takes a long time, it's hot, but yeah, it's worth it. Aim for the sun. <laughs> it turned out to be a perfect location for this adventure of ours, because it has ledges from 7 meters, 8, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16. 16. Exactly. Exactly. So it's perfect to, you know, progress. for all awesome footage from drone was one drone beneath the water. We crashed one drone, Max accidentally splashed some water onto the drone and the drone just lost image and went over the cliff and into the water. The problem is we don't know exactly where it fell in the water. The other problem is the water is about 15 meters deep. Gap Mirzi and me were in the water for like 15 minutes diving couldn't find anything. After checking the last image that the drone took, we figure out the spot where the drone landed. So they are total sense, uh, total sense is here too, no? We were circling around the drone like half an hour. It was like really camouflaged into the bottom. It took us a lot of attempts to go up and down to actually find it. The GoPro is still working because when I pressed it, it went. You should say. <laughs> Nothing is too hard for a Diddy Squad. We figure out everything, solve every problem. So, While searching the drone, we found a beautiful underwater cave, uh, actually a tunnel, and afterwards we, we went through it. <laughs> actually, we found some money while searching for drone, and we can take this as a compensation for the uh, damage. Kids, don't try this at home. Can your drone be a submarine? There's like two meters of bush between the ledge and the cliff, so that's what you have to clear, but it's really fun running into the unknown. We're um, trying to find a place where to shit. Supposedly it's somewhere around here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's, uh, let's inspect what's there to shit on. There is option A, shitting into the sea. Not so comfortable. Option B, in the crack, right here. Looks comfortable. So we could say it goes from one crack to another. <laughs> so today our friends from Dunkin' Devils came here to jump with us. some other spot, a bit lower cliffs and a bit more crowdy. It was really cool because the kite was really pleasant for tricks that you are not really sure in it. So everybody were jumping like trying new things, getting out of comfort zone. Underneath that cliff is also a cave so we could try tricks that can go just down and not hit the rocks below. We are a performer, so it was really nice feeling when you get out of the water and there's a lot of people clapping and cheering you. At 
the sketchy thing was that there are really a lot of people, so you should be really careful that you don't jump on someone. When Yanni and I went to a double layout, I forgot to tell him I was going like a bit to the side, so we landed like half a meter from one another. Didn't touch him though. <laughs> the intro shot was super sketchy for us because the drone had bad reception, the signal was weak and we already lost one drone, everybody was super nervous so that's why we, we did it only once, one shot, that's it. What I liked the most was the group jumps. That was really awesome. Those double rotations one after another is just ah. Oh. So the trick that I'm most proud of is double 540 from 16 meters. At the beginning you do a 540 and you have to open it and stop the rotation and then you're just pulling backflip out of it. You just have to see the rocks in front of you, the right rocks, the rocks on your side. I try triple backflip, I did two backflops before I over-rotated it. When the machine starts to rotate, it starts to stop it. So. If you're just getting into the cliff diving, start really low, just straight jump, and always depth check, because if there's uh, shallow water, you're gonna break your legs. It's best if you have a spotter down in the water, and always make a sign you're okay. You have to know how big the waves are, where your uh, exit point is, and how the currents are. My worst high diving experience was probably when I bursted my eardrum. That was with a huge swing. I did a triple backflip, it tilted me a bit, and I landed on the side directly on my ear, and it <coughs> exploded. The big challenge was double gainer with 360 in the first gainer. Uh, I've never done it before. First attempt was on 8 meters. I didn't have enough rotation, so I belly flopped a bit. But after I moved to 10, 11, and 60 meters, it was better. And I'm really, I'm really proud of myself. I already did two more tricks for the first time. The so gainer 720, double twist. <laughs> Woo! Nice! Yeah. Okay, let's do another twist. And bam, I crashed again. Uh, but still, click mark for the new trick. On the last day, I pushed my limits and I went 540 in back out. In the first attempt, I completely lost my visual, but it wasn't really painful or anything. The second attempt was more painful because the front flip was too slow and the back flip ended too low. So I landed on my belly and it like shook my organs around. I really enjoyed those couple of days, easy sessions and hanging out with friends. I really like this adventure simply because the, the scenery here is just amazing and the options that these cliffs uh, provide are unique. The last four days were really awesome. It was, I think, the longest cliff diving trip that we ever had. Everybody went onto the ne next level. It was a great experience, like from acrobatic point of view and adventure point of view. Still a lot of room for improvement, so we're not done with cliff diving. We're definitely gonna, gonna come back. Come on, look at this place. The water is coming into my nose. And it's like... <laughs> Almost got it in half. Okay. <laughs> Donut hug. Donut hug. Mm. <laughs>